Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today you guys I'm going to share another passage with you and it's going to be a full face lymphatic drainage passage. I did a little bit of a poll on my Instagram stories and this was pretty much the most requested one and uh, so I thought I will do a little updated version of this um, as it's actually my favorite personal massage as well. I like a full face massage not just a targeted area. So this is a massage that you can definitely do um, three times a week you can do it every week if you want um, every day rather um, if you want for about 10 days and then you can reduce the amount of um, times you do it to about once two times a week so for me uh, a person who has been doing massages for a while I probably do it now about once a week maybe twice a week so my face is cleansed I don't have anything on it so I'm going to be using an oil uh, this is the Aurelia day oil I usually use the day one or the night one I've been using these oils for probably over five years now I have a discount code just because I have been using this oil for so long they kindly gave me a discount code so check the description box it is linked there it is a really lovely dry oil but it still gives you that glide and slide that you need so I'm gonna take a couple of drops spread it in my hands and we're going to start with the neck so I like to cross my hands and start sliding gently from my ears down towards my collarbones working with medium pressure lymph is very superficial so we don't need a lot of pressure to actually move it and then I'm going to stop at the collarbones and just pump them a couple of times so this is where our terminal node our supra clavicular node is so this is what we want to activate because that's where we're going to be draining you also have big lymph nodes under your armpits so if you're doing body massages then you can do exactly the same pump into your armpits and then do a couple of chest sweeps which we will actually do towards the armpits so outward motion from the sternum and then I'm going to use my knuckles to do the same Great for any kind of decollete area lines or wrinkles. And then I'm gonna sweep my hands up towards my shoulders. So I'm using almost the heel of my palm to finish the move, really hugging onto the skin. We will continue with the neck. I'm gonna place my hands like this and then slide them to the back of the neck again using the heels of the palm I'm almost pushing my head forward slightly as my hands are going to the back and then we will massage the TMG a really big muscle right here so when you tilt your head forward and then turn you're gonna locate it very easily so we want to make this very malleable we want this muscle to be very soft and long because as soon as it shortens it creates a tilt in our chin which then creates lines in our neck it also creates line in our face so I'm really grabbing onto the whole muscle and massaging the whole length origin insertion the whole length and then we'll do the other side If you only just started working with this muscle in this area you might find that you have it's very hard to grab onto it which is fine the more you do it the more it will work okay moving on to the chin back of the hand all the way from the chin towards the back of the ear so try not to cheat it here by going like this go all the way to the back And then thumb under, first finger into a hook, sliding all the way along the jawline and then draining down. So I'm using my knuckles to drain down. And thumbs go under the chin. The hands are gonna go into the nasal labial folds. I'm gonna turn them out 
and then slide them out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. Cats are play fighting. Hey! And let's do a little bit of flicking so you can hold one hand onto the jaw or onto the neck and with the other two fingers I'm flicking the skin up. Same on the other side. Then we're going to work with the sinuses a little bit. So uh, bring finger and then I'm going to slide all the way out towards the temples. Circular motion over the brow to the temple. So if you've suffered from allergies, headaches, sinuses, congestion, this is a good move to do. And I'm going to continue with the eye circular motion again using ring finger. So I'm going over the brow and very gently feather like motion underneath the eye. Then I'm going to take my thumbs, place them just into the inner corners under the brow and lean my head forward, applying that pressure, just releasing the tension in the muscle. And so we will work a little bit into the frown lines. And then I'm going to start grabbing onto the skin between the brows and rocking it. So I want you to try and grab onto the muscle and not just onto the skin. So we want to work with deeper layers here. Again, relaxing and lengthening the muscle. And then we're going to go all the way along the brow, giving them a little pinch. And let's go in the temple, figure eight here. And fingers over the brows, sliding up and all the way down. Up into the hairline and all the way down. And a little bit more onto the forehead. So working with the connection here, slide out and a couple of sweeps all the way down and that is our massage done my friends i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the massage so this is pretty much my go-to massage when i do my lymphatic drainage you can go much slower you can go faster here this usually takes me about five minutes if that so this is why i really want to encourage people to do it as their daily routine just make it one of the things that you do every day when you're applying your skincare and then it really becomes a part of your day if you have any questions at all let me know and otherwise thank Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you very soon in my next video bye